to pervert the gospel of Christ. I know I'm spending quite a bit of time here on verse 7, but this is the heart of it. The other gospel is really a perversion, and that word means a distortion of the true gospel of Jesus Christ. I remember a number of years ago wanting to fix up our wood fence around our yard, and so I went and just got a bunch of the fence boards and brought them back to the house, and as soon as I started putting them up, I realized that they were all bent and warped. I've seen others that are probably better at doing that than me when they go to buy them at the store, they're eyeballing it. They're picking it up and kind of looking down and making sure that everything's as straight. Well, that's what we need to do. You can't work with warped boards. You can't work and find rest in a distorted gospel of Jesus Christ. That's why we compare Scripture with Scripture, and we weigh every man's commentary in light of the Scripture. 